The new Cube is more uh, an extension of the original Cube line. It's not actually replacing our older units like the Cube 150 uh, or the Cube 100. So for those of you who don't know, uh, the Cube series of encoders transmits up to 1080p30 over dual band Wi-Fi, um, Ethernet port, or a single 3G or 4G modem in the USB slot. Uh, the Cube takes an HD-SDI input from cameras. It can take HDMI or even composite. So with the new Cube here, We've got a brand new OLED screen on here that uh, gives you all of the features um, of the cube at your fingertips, uh, which is something new compared to the old cubes where you used to have to get into it by an Ethernet cable or through a Wi-Fi connection on your laptop or iPad. We also have dual antennas, which is our MIMO access point. And what this is going to do is allow you to connect device to device, so say a cube to an iPad over the 5 gigahertz band instead of the 2.4 band, which is going to avoid a lot of the interference you see on the 2.4 band. Uh, we've got a micro SD card slot now, which is going to allow you to save onboard proxy recordings while you're streaming. We've got a, a mini USB, which is going to charge the internal battery that we recently implemented in here. And that's going to give you about two hours of runtime. It's not swappable, um, so you have to keep that in mind. Now, on top of this unit here, we've got something called Bond. And uh, what Bond is, is it enhances the uh, transmission capabilities of the queue. It plugs into the USB port of the Cube and will allow you to transmit over up to five 3G and 4G modems at the same time. So it aggregates the bandwidth, sends it up to the cloud where you can stitch it together into a cohesive video, and then you can forward that on to a decoder or a content delivery network. So actually, you don't even need to send it to your laptop. You can go straight to the CDN. So you would get into uh, the preferences, whether it's connecting to it with a laptop or an iPad or right here, you would plug in where you're going to send it. So if you want to send it to live stream, you plug in your login credentials. And when you hit go live or when you start shooting, it's going to transmit directly to their servers. Um, alternatively, you can provide an RTMP link. Say you're sending it to Akamai or Limelight or any other content um, uh, delivery network or server out there. You just plug it all into the preferences menu and you're good to go. There's always going to be latency involved when you're transmitting over Wi-Fi and using compression. And by the way, the Cube uses high-profile H.264 compression. So if you're going to be transmitting from a Cube encoder to a Cube decoder, you can get the latency as low as 2 to 3 frames. Now, if you send it to an iPad, you're looking at about 7 to 8 frames of latency, and that's predominantly a limitation of the hardware of a tablet.